Kia ora and warm Pacific greetings to you all. My name is Sophie. And my name's Cam. And today we're going to be showing you around our beautiful campus. So come on over for a quick little tour. First stop on our tour is St David's Lecture Theatre. It's the biggest lecture theatre on campus. You'll most likely have lectures here in your first year. Just outside St David's, right in the heart of the campus, you'll find our most photographed building. Take a photo of me in front of the clock tower. So we're going to head past what's known as the Staff Club and Archway West buildings. Like many of Otago's historic buildings, these have been used for different purposes over the years. At one time, the Staff Club used to be the dental school. Oh, damn, I forgot my ID. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Just wait there. I promise I'll be quick. With our colleges being so close to campus, it makes it so easy to grab things you might have forgotten for the day. I got my ID. That was quick. Yeah. All right, let's go. The university has awesome recreation facilities just a short walk away from the centre of campus. They are free to use with your student ID card. Here we are at Unipol, the gym for students. We're going to go shoot some hoops. Here at Unipol, you'll find courts, cardio and weights rooms, and they also offer heaps of exercise classes a week. It's a great way to stay active and catch up with friends. After a quick workout, we're heading back up Union Street towards the beautiful new Performing Arts Building. Along the way, we're passing our College of Education buildings and Otago Polytech is on our right. We're here in the brand new Performing Arts Centre. Here's an idea. Sophie, why don't you go into the recording studio for a cheeky little song? Alright, sounds good. <laughs> Time to get down to business as we head a bit further up Union Street. Here we are in the Otago Business School. This is the main hub for commerce students. And it's got some of the best coffee on campus. This building was redeveloped just a few years ago and features some stunning artwork and design elements that tell the story of the journeys of Southern Māori iwi. It's become one of the most popular places on campus and has a great vibe for studying or hanging out with friends. Where should we go next? Oh, I think we're going to the Richardson building. I think it's around here. I think it's that way. Right. From the Otago Business School, we're now crossing the Leith which runs through the middle of campus. In the past few years, Dunedin has become well known for its street art and we're so lucky to have this beautiful art piece by the artist Fluke on the side of the Castle Lecture Theatres. This is the Richardson building, the tallest building on campus. If you're a law student, enjoy the view from the top. Okay team, so now we're going to go into the Mallow Laboratories. You might be coming here a lot if you're going to be studying the sciences. Let's go! These cutting edge facilities were opened just a couple of years ago. Outside Mallow, we're now walking past the Union Lawn. It's a great spot to sit and have lunch in the sun. It's also a very popular spot for entertainment and events during the year. Just inside the Central Library, you'll find Ask Otago. Think of them as a one-stop shop for any and every question you might have about Otago. The Central Library itself is one of the best places on campus for studying. It's quiet, it's open late, and has a great range of different study spaces. We're now heading off the main campus, past Otago Museum, and towards our health precinct. Which is home to Dunedin Hospital and the University's Health Sciences Division. This is an area where new buildings like the state-of-the-art dentistry facilities and historic spaces like the Anatomy Museum play an important part in training New Zealand's future health professionals. Thanks so much for joining us on our gorgeous campus tour today. We are finishing up outside the iconic Otago Medical School. Town is literally around the corner. We're going to go dash off and get a quick bite to eat before the Highlanders game tonight. We hope to see you next year. Good luck with the rest of this year and remember to stay safe. Three, two, one.